the Larry Nasser child abuse scandal could create a tremendous potential liability for MSU, undermining the university's viability, photo, Paul Sansaya slash AP. Using as a guide the cost of the child molestation scandal that rocked Penn State's football program, it could cost Michigan State University more than $1 billion to resolve lawsuits filed by the former gymnasts who were sexually assaulted by Drive. Larry Nasser. Penn State was hit with 33 lawsuits by victims of assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. Like the MSU victims, most were children when they were molested. 33 lawsuits were filed against Penn State for failing to protect minors from a sexual predator on the university payroll. MSU faces 144 suits, more than four times the Penn State total. Actual damages cost Penn State $93 million, but when attorney fees, fines and other costs are counted, the total price tag of the scandal is $243 million. MSU is nearly five times bigger in terms of the number of victims, says David Middleman, attorney for 40 of Nasser's victims. This could easily top $1 billion. The accusations against MSU are similar, and if they are borne out in court, the payouts could be expected to be in the same range. That's a tremendous potential liability, and one that could well undermine the university's viability. And yet the accountability for the scandal has been contained to Nasser, who pleaded guilty so far to sexually assaulting 10 girls. That stands in stark contrast to what happened at Penn State, where the consequences of a major university enabling a serial predator went well beyond Sandusky. Not only did several members of the athletic department and administration lose their jobs, but the president, vice president and athletic director were all charged with crimes. Incredibly, at MSU, there has been no truly independent investigation to determine just how far up the chain of command did knowledge of what was happening in the gymnastics program go. Whose inattentiveness and possible negligence allowed Nasser to prey on children for more than 20 years. Even the gymnastics coach, Kathy Clages, who dismissed complaints from the victims as frivolous and pressured them to stay silent, was allowed to retire and begin collecting a pension without facing criminal charges. MSU is working to keep the liability from spreading. The Board of Trustees announced in October that it would not release the findings of the investigator it hired to do an internal probe. The handling of this case has been sketchy from the get-go, and neither University President Luana Simon or State Attorney General Bill Shuet seem much interested in looking beyond Nasser to determine who else might be culpable in enabling the abuse of these girls and young women. For starters, the criminal investigation was carried out by the campus police department, not by local or state law enforcement agencies. The FBI apparently did an investigation but no charges have resulted at this time. In the Penn State case, a grand jury was impaneled to weigh evidence that eventually resulted in charges against university officials. No state grand jury was formed to pursue how far the MSU scandal may reach.